most Americans consider themselves middle class, but most people are looking at income. Today, I want to share the upper middle and lower classes with you based on net worth. Hey there, I'm Renee Flammer, a financial coach with videos all about budgeting and money saving tips for you and your family. The numbers today come from the US Census Bureau and they divide the classes into quintiles, which means basically they divide it into five different groups. The lowest 20% of Americans is the poverty class and the next 20% is the lower middle class. Then the next 20% comes the middle class, followed by the next 20% is the upper middle class and the top 20% of Americans is the wealthy class. Now, most people use income to determine their class, but I think net worth is so much more accurate and I will explain why at the end. To begin with, the median net worth in the US across everyone, all classes and age groups is $121,700. If you want to see the average and median net worths by age, check out my video here. I'll put a link in the description box below. But for today, we're gonna to discuss the different classes and we're gonna focus on the median net worth because that's a little bit more accurate. We throw out those billionaires out there that mess up the average. Let's start with the lowest class. The poverty class is the lowest 20% of Americans. Their median net worth is $6,030. Now, this seems really low. This could include a lot of the younger people who have not had time to accumulate very much wealth, but also keep in mind that net worth can be negative. For example, a recent college grad, if they graduated with student loans, theirs will probably be negative for a while until they get those loans paid off or until they accumulate assets to balance those loans. Now let's move on to the middle classes. The next 20% of Americans is the lower middle class. They have a median net worth of $43,760. Now, most people assume that your net worth is directly related to your income. If you make a lot of money, you've got to be worth a lot of money, but that is not true. Here from a study that was done, of those making $100,000 or more a year, 40% of them live paycheck to paycheck. Now take that to those making 250,000 or more a year, 36 of them are living paycheck to paycheck. Just because you make a lot does not mean your net worth will be high. Um, at the end, I have an exam, prime example of this. Moving on to the next 20% of Americans, we have the middle class. This is the middle of the middle class. Their median net worth is $104,000. $700. Members of this middle class have a modest sense of financial security and financial independence. However, they are still heavily relying on their earning potential as well as credit for major expenses or assets that they're purchasing. The next 20% of Americans is the upper middle class. Their median net worth is $201,800. Members of this class are more accurately defined by their behavior and by their lifestyle. They have a lot more discretionary income and they can purchase things because they want them. They can go buy a new car, not because they have to replace an old clunker, but because they want a new car. They can help out with their kids' college education because they can afford it. They are more likely to be able to do what they want when they want. So. You are in the middle class if you're in any of these three categories, from the net worth of $43,760 to $201,800. If you're anywhere in there, you are middle class. 87% of Americans think that they are in the middle class, but in reality, only 51% are in there. So in the comments down below, let me know, are you in the middle class or not? I'd love to hear from you. Now, the top 20% of Americans are in the wealthy class with a median net worth of $608,900. Now, for most Americans, our home is our largest asset that contributes to our net worth. Many people in this class tend to be older because they've had time to let their wealth accumulate and their interest increase over time. But in reality, anyone can become wealthy. It does not matter how much money you make. Over time, anyone can become wealthy. Your net worth is a better indicator than your income of what class you are because anyone can make a lot of money. That doesn't mean they're worth a lot of money. Someone can make a lot but have an expensive lifestyle and spend a lot so they don't have any assets to show for it as opposed to someone that makes a little but saves a lot and invests a lot and has a lot to show for it. Prime example of this is Ronald Reed who for 25 years 
was a gas attendant. Now, I don't know how much they make, but it's probably not very much. But he did this for 25 years. He retired and then he went to work part time as a janitor. When he died in 2014, he had over $8 million in assets. It is not about how much you make, it's what you do with what you make. If you are interested in seeing net worth, average net worth by age, check out my video right up there. Otherwise, stay tuned for my next video. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon.